Well, you've been at Cheltenham about two months. In terms of the intensity and the physicality, has it, has it been as, as, as you imagined it would? Yeah, yeah, I've had experience of this league before and it is exactly the same, to be honest. It's games change from week to week. You come up against different opposition every game, but the physicality has not been a surprise to me at all. No. And three clean sheets from the last three matches, which have brought you nine points. Is it the points or the clean sheets that have pleased you more? The points are the things that count at the end of the day. You need the three points, so whether you win 3-2, it's still equivalent to three points. So that's the massive thing, but the clean sheet is, as a defender and a back five and a goalkeeper, that's a big confidence boost to us all as individuals and as a unit. And the, it's the whole team who's earning the clean sheets. It starts from the front and the work ethic throughout the last three games has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. Get that out right. <laughs> At Orient, the waters were a bit choppy in the first half. I appreciate Carl scored <coughs> the goal, but around yeah. that, they, they had a few chances. But you found a way of getting through that and settling things down a bit. Yeah, you've got a got look to Brownie in the first half at Orient because he were terrific. So he made about four or five good saves. They missed a decent chance. Looked like an open goal. He should have put it away, but we have ended up coming away with the three points. And that's what it were all about on that day, especially considering they were could have drawn level with us. But So that was good, yeah. In terms of your work through the week that most of us don't see with Manny and Tins or, or um, Daniel Danny. and and you in the middle, is that is that trust building between the three of you in terms of who can do what and who covers for who and that type of thing? Yeah, I think that comes with... I think it's new for Manny and me playing in a free and this is the first time I've played in a free since I've been here but we've took to it well enough and... The relationship between all three of us, whether it's Tins or Dan, they've both done very well when they've played. And it's it's growing and we're starting to learn each other's games more. And I think I think we're looking strong as a three and I'm quite enjoying playing as a three. Suits me, so I quite enjoy it, yeah. In what way does it suit you? I like to... It helps me organise people around me. It gives me more chance to try to dictate to players around me and then play my normal game as well. But I do enjoy it in a three, yeah. And Gary talks about a quarterback role for either James Rowe or for Kyle. And in the last three games, Kyle has come on and just, to extend the point, organised the midfield. Yeah, and yeah. the team has looked very solid as a result of that. Yeah, he's, he's come in and he's brought his experience to the fore and he's shot it up. He's just a calm, a calm influence on the ball and off the ball. He gives the team, brings the team a lot and Rowe has done very well as well. He's a nice footballer, can pick a pass, and both of them have done very well when they've played. Does this feel as if it's been a decisive week, potentially, with the Orient result and then beating Carlisle? Yeah, backing up backing up the Yeovil win with the Orient win were massive, because if we didn't beat Orient, then it would basically, the Yeovil win were basically no point winning. We'd have gone level with Orient, but then backing it up again with the Carlisle win were massive, I think, and... If we can do that against Saturday, I think we'll be looking in a in a quite a strong position, looking upwards rather than looking down. So, yeah. what what do you know about Mansfield at the moment, or is that still work ahead of you? Um, we'll be looking at them today and tomorrow as a team and seeing where we can pit ourselves against them and give ourselves the best chance of beating them. But we do that every week, and I think we'll we'll put a respectable performance up and hopefully we'll get another three points. And they're, I think they're eighth and yeah. just outside the playoffs. They might even be thinking of automatic because it's quite <coughs> close at the top. Yeah, to be honest, in this league, there's near enough every team's playing for something. The team's just outside the playoffs to try to get in there. Like Carlisle, we're chasing the automatic spaces and there's a few teams still involved in the relegation scrap. So there ain't going to be many teams that are not really playing for anything at this stage of the season. So. And just lastly for me, is, is there a feeling from you then that y you've been through you know, quite a hard first month here in terms of the team being gradually built around you with people coming in and people going out, but that this sort of last 12 games, hopefully you can get to a position where you can consolidate with a little bit to spare perhaps? Yeah, that's what we want. We want to be, we want to be clear of it with however many games, as many as possible to go. We don't want to be looking over his shoulder the last two or three games thinking we need to we need to go to Portsmouth on the last day and win. We want to be, and we've done a good start. We've made a good start at that, at climbing the table and that last nine points from nine. So that goes a long way and hopefully we can carry that on and kick on further up the table, yeah.
Well, Gary was talking about um, uh, the influence Aaron Downs has had um, in training. What, what influence he had to you um, in your game since you've been here? Massive, to be honest. He works with us every single day as a back three and a back five. And I think that's, that's very good because at many clubs you won't get that. Sometimes you'll have a little bit of work within the shape. But here we've got actual specific work on defending. We split up into groups, attackers, midfielders, defenders. And that helps us get to know each other. But it's the more, it's the finer details like clearances and stuff like that. The actual things that are game related for us. So rather than us doing shooting sessions, which we can do as well, but we need them things a lot more. So he does help with that a lot. And what's the <clears throat> need in the squad like at the moment? Very good, yeah, as you can imagine. So three wins from three, three clean sheets, it's very good. But to be honest, it was. When we got beat after Stevenage, we'd lost two. And there is a there is a difference. I'd be lying if I said there weren't, but there were always a belief in the camp that we'd turn it around and that we can kick on. And that's what we're trying to do now, carry this good form on, keep the momentum going and carry on climbing the table. And lastly, um, how proud have you been of the performances of late and particularly the clean sheets? Yeah, very proud. I think there's 11 on on Tuesday night, I think that was the best performance, but we dominated them from start to finish. So that were particularly pleasing, saying their third chasing the game, they might have had a few excuses regarding the pitch, but both teams are playing on the same pitch. So, But yeah, we're proud on Tuesday. Thank you. Well, we're ready.